Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Please have a seat. Thank you, sir. Okay. Your name is Kirtika Negi. Yes, sir. Kirtika, first of all, congratulations on qualifying the RIMC written exam. Thank you, sir. So, how are you feeling? Sir, I am feeling good. Okay. So, are you excited for the interview? Yes, sir. Are you prepared for it? Yes, sir. So, have you taken coaching for it? Yes, sir. Okay. Is it necessary to take coaching? Sir, I think that it should come very naturally. So for me, it was necessary. Actually, uh, I just took guidance for it, and like, what kind of questions can be asked? Okay, I just want to know about your strategy. That how you, you were able. This was your second attempt. No? Yes, sir. So how you were able to do this time, and what happened in the first attempt? Sir, actually, in the first attempt, my grammar was not uh, much clear, and therefore, I was not able to qualify the written examination of English. Mm -hmm. I I had only uh, qualified in maths. Sorry, in GK. In maths, basically the uh, paper was not of our level, and actually I had not even prepared for that portion. I had only prepared for the elementary part. That was why I had not been able to qualify that examination. In my second attempt, I just uh, started doing all those PYQs of uh, the last seven year. And uh, plus, I was focusing on the static portion of GK, and plus also on the current affairs, and I improved my grammar in English. That was my strategy. Okay, very good. So, uh, can you tell me something interesting about yourself? So, first of all, thank you for giving me this opportunity to introduce myself in front of you. My name is Kirti Ka Negi. I belong to Dehradun, which is in Uttarakhand. As far as my highest qualification is concerned. I am currently studying in seventh in the Indian Academy, which is in Dehradun, Uttarakhand. My family consists of eight members, including me. My grandfather's name is Mr. Raghuvir Singh Negi. He is a retired subedar from Indian Army. My grandmother's name is Mrs. Lalita Devi. She is a homemaker. My father's name is Mr. Pradeep Singh. He is a retired para commando and is currently serving as a sepoy in DSC Defence Security Corps. My mother's name is Mrs. Pooja Negi. She is a homemaker. My younger sister name is Himanshi Negi. She is currently studying in fourth in the Indian Academy School in Dehradun, Uttarakhand. My younger twin brothers' names are Adnan Negi and Aram Negi, and they are currently studying in LKG in the Indian Academy. My hobby is dancing, and my aim is to become an army officer. Thank you. That's all about. Okay. So uh, your name is Kirtika. Okay. Yes, Do you sir. know the meaning of your name? Yes, sir. Okay. If you know it, how you relate the meaning with your personality? Sir, Kirtika means fame, or you can say famous person. And sir, like in my school, whenever I participate in any competition and whenever I achieve any prize, that uh, that time I feel that uh, hard work is the key to success. And automatically, when you will achieve success, you will get fame. Okay. So fame is very important in your life. No, sir. Success is more more important. So if you'll get success without fame, is it okay? Yes, sir. Okay, very good. Okay, also tell me about Dehradun as you live in Dehradun. Sir, Dehradun is located uh, at the foothills of Shivaliks. Uh, the elevation of Dehradun varies, like. Uh, in uh, in Masuri, it is about fifteen hundred meter, but at the low and low land area, it is uh, about four hundred or five hundred meter. Sir, uh, four or five, four hundred or five hundred. Sir, four fifty meter. Okay, you want to take the average value? Yes. Sir. Okay, four fifty. Okay. Sir, there are many uh, military establishments in Dehradun, such as uh, IMA Indian Military Academy and as uh, RAMC only. That's all. Okay. Uh, can you tell me five places uh, where you want me to visit? So, Robbers Cave, Sir so Tapkeshwar uh, Temple, uh, so Lachhiwala Nature Park, Sir so Clock Tower, Sir so Forest Research Institute of India. Okay. So, out of these five, which one is your favorite and why? Sir, Lachhi Wala Nature Park. Sir, I love water because. Okay, you love water. 
So you know swimming also? No sir. Okay. So you you haven't learned swimming? Sir, actually I have not uh, any time given a thought to it, but I'll definitely ask it to my mother after the interview. Okay. Uh, and uh, apart from Lachhi Wala, the other places which you have told, uh, can you tell the reasons also why you like these places? Like you have said, Robbers Cave. What is the reason behind it? Why Robbers Cave? So basically, it is very interesting because the uh, basically the robbers who had robbed they used to hide there, and it seems to be interesting to me. And sir, in Forest Research Institute, we get to know many knowledge about like plants and all those. Okay, so. Water is also there in Robbers Cave. Yes, sir. So why? Because water is there in Robbers Cave as well as in Lachhi Wala. Then why Lachhi Wala? Why not Robbers Cave? Sir, actually, I had never uh, visited to Robbers Cave, but I have heard about it, and I have visited Lachhi Wala Nature Park. Yes, so you have not visited it. No, sir. You have not visited the Robbers Cave. No, sir. So I am asking the places which you have visited. Tell me those places. Tell me those places where you have visited. So this Tapkeshwar Mandir you have visited? Yes, sir. When I was uh, a kid. Okay. What is the significance? So like uh, the water comes uh, from the top of the plain. Water comes from the. Is there any stream? Sir, actually, I was a kid that time. I am not able to recall that, but I'll definitely search it. So the places which you know, tell those places because then only you will be able to elaborate on on those places. Now, if you are not aware about the picture, then okay, Lachhi Wala, you know well. Yes. Sir. Is there any stream, any river going? Sir, there? it is not uh, like a stream, but uh, there is kind of swimming pool over there. There is no stream. There is no natural river. No natural stream. Artificial. Swimming pool, sir. Sir, it's like natural only. It's natural. Like. So, what is the name of that stream? Sir, uh, sorry, I'm not aware of it. Okay, so you have been to Clock Tower also. Yes, sir. Okay, so what is the significance of Clock Tower? Why do you want me to go to Clock Tower? Sir, basically the market over there and uh, uh, that is very good. You can just uh, go over there to search the things which you want and. It's really a good place. Okay, for shopping purposes, it's good. Yes, sir. And uh, what about FRI? Sir, uh, the nature is very good over there. You can see many kind of trees. And First of all, what is FRI? Sir, it's the Forest Research Institute. Okay. So, what is the function of that institute? So basically, uh, there you can find uh, the uh, plants and the knowledge about them, like different kind of. In FRI. But what is the function of that institution? As RIMC is a feeder institute, so what is the function of FRI? To search about nature, the to search information. About nature. Okay. In nature, then flora, fauna, everything comes. Why specific than forest? Sir, as Dehradun is a uh, is surrounded by hills, plus it, uh, the many forests are also in Dehradun. It okay. is a forested region. Okay. Do you know what is the study of forestry known as? Sorry, sir, I'm not able to recall it right now. Okay. Uh, your highest qualification is you are in seventh class. Yes. In which school? The Indian Academy. The Indian Academy. Okay. What do you like about your school? Are you satisfied with your school? Yes, sir. Then why do you want to join our AMC? Sir, as RAMC is a feeder institute to the NDA, and uh, as I want to join the army in my later stages, that is why I want to join RAMC. But after doing your schooling from Indian Academy, you can go for NDA, and then also you can fulfill your dream. Sir, but uh, as uh, according to me, sir, RAMC is better because there are many qualities are taught and. From a young age, we are away from family, which makes us uh, just comfortable in my in our later stages. Like if uh, if I'll join India later, uh, that pain I'll not feel that time. Like I'm away from my family. Okay, so for that pain, so that you cannot suffer pain later on in the later stages. That's why you want to join our AMC. This is the only reason. No, sir. I want uh, like. Uh, qualities also. RMC has a very but good. But I want to know what kind of quality you will get in RMC. Sir, like uh, RMC will lead us to the uh, future, like uh, to the armed forces, to join armed forces. 
okay but that what i've said that you can give the nda exam by doing schooling from any view okay and then also you will be joining the armed forces only what's so different about rmc it's a school only na huh? yes sir sir the schedule so like at the age of at a very young age sir they teach uh, students a very high level of uh, any subject that uh, make student uh, good in knowledge they get good Can knowledge give some examples if you know about it sir as per my information i have heard that uh, at the uh, class 8th only they teach uh, students uh, log and all those things which make student uh, good what is log sir actually i'm not aware of it but uh, i have heard that we get to know about it in the 10th or 11th class okay so they teach such chapters which are there in the 11th and 12th class to improve their uh, efficiency you can take coaching also from any why to join rmc you are joining rmc for for that purpose you can join any other coaching centers while pursuing your schooling from indian academy you can join other coaching centers those who prepare for iit je and all okay if you will join the foundation classes they will be dealing with all these chapters which are in the 11th and 12th class sir rmc also teaches the uh, quality of leadership what is the meaning of leadership according to you what is the definition of leadership so leadership is not all about just leading any group it is about the understanding the feelings of the members of that group and also uh, if any if anything is lacking there to look after that and all that so that your school doesn't teach you sir i'm not saying that my school doesn't teach me that but as uh, rmc is better I think RMC that RMC will make you a better leader. Yes. Sir. Your school will also make you a leader, but you think in your mind that RMC will make you a better leader. Yes. In what sense? Sir, uh, like our school prepares us for different fields, but RMC is something that uh, usually prepares uh, students for the armed forces. Okay. Okay, suppose if you will not get selected in RIMC this time, what will you do then? Sir, as uh, I have one more attempt, so I'll start pre uh, preparing for that attempt, and I'll observe that what all mistakes I have ma uh, made, and I'll work on them. Okay. Okay, there are total eight members in your family, as you have mentioned. Yes, sir. You you also mentioned about your grandfather. He's a Subeda. He was a Subeda. He was a Subeda in which regiment? Sir, in Gadwal Rifles. Gadwal. Can you tell me the specific functions of Gadwal rifles? Sir, Why the Gadwal rifle was made? Sir, I'm not able to uh, recall this. You know this, but you're not able to recall this. I'll search it after the interview. Okay. You don't know the specific purpose. What is the role of army? Sir, the role of army is to protect the borders, areas of our country, and serve our nation. and uh, look after the enemies like uh, how they are what's the mindset of them so in, in gadwal region also there are some borders where this these people can guard and all so basically uttarakhand share its border with uh, china and nepal so china is one of our enemies so yes do you feel that so the function of gadwal rifles is to guard the border areas in the gadwal region Yes, sir. I think so. But you're not sure about it. Yes. Okay. So your grandfather was a subedar in Gadwal Rifles. Okay, and you also mentioned that your father was a para commando. Yes, sir. What is para commando? Sir, basically, uh, in parachute regiment, there is a force para SF. Again, I want to ask, what is this parachute regiment meant for? Again, there there are various regiments like Gadwal Rifles, Kumau Regiment is there. Then, as we have mentioned, there is parachute regiment. Sir, basically, it is a special force uh, where uh, it with where it is mainly tasked with the dangerous operation where they have to enter in the uh, enemy's uh, region and then they have to gather uh, the information secretively. and then work upon that information and plus sir uh, he, uh, in a parachute regiment uh, they always do a small team operation and uh, sir mainly 
the difference is that uh, they every soldier uh, has the uh, ability to take decision and then suggests to the other members matlab uh, they can take decision themselves so your father was in, in which unit of para parachute regiment he was in two para sf two para okay any heroic deeds any uh, achievements of second para that you know about sorry sir i'm not any achievements of your father when he was a para commando sir i don't know the name of that operation but i know that in J- when he was posted in jnk uh, he and uh, his two to three friends were sent to a house which was captured by two ter- uh, terrorists and basically he uh, just uh, first evacuated the uh, people who who were present in uh, that house and then uh, like uh, he just uh, shooted that terrorist the other one just he uh, went away from that place uh, i don't know how secretly he just went but the other one was caught okay so your father also faced some casualty that time so basically there were four to five people and uh, my fa- uh, father was about to get shooted but i uh, but uh, naturally i don't know what happened but he just got shifted and the uh, sh- the gun shooted in some other members leg okay now he is in dsc yes sir what is the function of dsc sir the function of dsc is to just uh, provide security to the government areas Okay. Okay. So your grandfather was in army. Your father is in army. This is the reason you want to join army. Yes, sir. So which regiment? You will also go for parachute regiment. Sir, actually, girls are not uh, yet allowed in parachute regiment. But I hope if girls will be allowed in the future, mm-hmm. then definitely I'll also try to join parachute regiment. Okay. So, what do you think? Why girls are not allowed? Are are they not capable enough for the combat activities and all? Sir, I don't have any specific reason, but I think that the training is very hard enough. So that what you want to say that basically women they are not capable enough to cope with the training. Sir, every girl is not like that. What about you? Sir, I think I'm capable enough. Okay. Are you involved in some physical activities and all? Do you have any achievements in sports? Sir, I don't have any achievement in sport. Sports. So you're not involved in any of the physical activity. Sir, I play cricket sometimes. Okay. What is your hobby? What do you have mentioned? Sir, dancing. Dancing. So, in which kind of songs you usually dance? Sir, I can dance in any song, but mainly I uh, dance in Pahadi songs. Okay. Can you sing a Pahadi song? Yes, sir. It goes like this: Kasi ki thai ma bal chand ko sekka, chand ko sekka. Main teri rani to mera hukum ko ekka, ha mera hukum ko ekka. Na hero, na firu, main ne ni talki firu. Sir, it's like that. What does it mean? Sir, actually, I don't know the meaning of the song, but I'll ask ask it to my mother after the interview. Are you a Gadwali girl? Yes. Sir. You don't know Gadwali. Sir, actually, from my uh, birth, I have not been to my village uh, very frequently. That is why. So you don't you don't understand Gadwali. Sir, oh. I know a little bit Gadwali only. But you don't know the meaning of this song, which you currently. Yes, sir. Okay. So, as you mentioned, you want to join army because your family members were in the army. Suppose if the option is given to you, suppose army is out of the box now. Now you have option for air force and uh, navy. So, f- for which armed forces you will opt for and why? Sir, I would opt for uh, air force. Why? What is the reason? Sir, because one of my uh, Cousin is also in Air Force. One of your cousin is in Air Force. That's why this is the reason. Yes, sir. So you want to be with your cousin in Air Force. Sir, it's not like that. But sometimes when I uh, I want it, I think in a, I had a watched a video where uh, there were aircrafts also, and I got fascinated by them. 
which aircrafts sir i don't uh, Can know you name few aircrafts which we have in indian air force sir sukhoi okay tejas okay and they are uh, fighter planes or helicopters sir actually i don't have much knowledge about aircrafts you have only heard the names you have not seen you have not seen these aircrafts sir uh, actually in real i have never seen any aircraft so you have not seen helicopters flying there sir are... i have seen helicopters but i have i don't know their names okay so uh now over to ankita ma'am okay so kirthika Yes. I'm pronouncing your name right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, Kritika, you mentioned that you are capable enough to join Para SF, right? Yes, ma'am. Can you uh, mention specific qualities that make you capable enough for joining Para SF? What are your strengths? Ma'am, patience. Okay. And uh, ma'am, patience is my mo uh, the biggest uh, that capability, and uh, plus. it's also hard work hard work patience and hard work anything else so these uh, sorry ma'am these are my biggest uh, otherwise i'm not able to recall others uh, any specific event where you would have depicted these qualities ma'am can i tell these in one situation only yes ma'am basically like i had started preparing for rmc since 2022 Uh, first, I used to prepare for RMS in Chennai School, but I was not able to qualify them in my very first attempt. That time, I was a bit disappointed, but I didn't lose my hope and just I kept I kept myself patient and worked hard for it. And in my second second attempt, I was still not able to qualify it, but still I uh, didn't lose hope and I worked hard and I have qualified the written examination of June two thousand twenty four. or uh, you gave exams for rms and senic as well you didn't qualify any of them ma'am i just qualified uh, senic school but i didn't came in the merit list you didn't came in the merit list you didn't come in the merit list okay so uh, what if you would have come into the merit list so would you uh, would you have joined senic school yes ma'am okay and which senic school you would have chosen then ma'am goda khad okay so now because you are not in senic school so therefore you are coming to rmc Ma'am, uh, if I would have been in uh, Saint School also, uh, that time uh, then also I I would have uh, pre uh, prepared for R E M C and uh, given the examination of R E M C. Okay, RMC. still you would have appeared for it. Okay, uh, I also got to know that you are from Dehradun only. Yes, ma'am. You are born and brought up in Dehradun. Ma'am, I, I was born in Pori, but I was brought up in Dehradun. Okay, means uh, since very young you have been here only. Okay, so uh, since uh, you are in Dehradun only, is there any specific uh, military training academy here? Training academy, I am saying, not school. Ma'am, I am in. What is its full name? Ma'am, Indian Military Academy. Ah, uh, what happens there? Ma'am, basically the cadets who have passed out from NDA, ah, uh, they came uh, came to. they come to uh, indian military academy to be introduced with the weapons which are used in uh, army plus all those codes and conduct only for introduction to weapons no ma'am also how to use them how to use them okay is it just from the india or we have other entries as well there ma'am just from india as only from india as per my information i think it's uh, just from india okay what is india ma'am national defense academy where is it Ma'am, in Khadakwasla, Pune, Maharashtra. What happens there? Ma'am, basically, it's a college, and the uh, first you have to give exam for it. Then you have SSB, and but if you will get selected, then uh, you get your graduation there, degrees and all. Okay, so you get graduation there. So are you eligible for NDA? Ma'am, not at this age. So what's... after tenth uh, yes. or twelfth? Tenth or twelfth? Sorry, twelfth. Are you sure after twelfth? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So you also mentioned that your father is in Para Special Forces. What is difference between Para SF and Parachute Regiment? Ma'am, basically Para SF a part of Parachute Regiment only. Are you sure? Yes, ma'am. There is no difference between Parachute Regiment and Para SF. No, ma'am. Are you sure? Ma'am, uh, Para SF is part of Parachute Regiment. Okay. Okay. Is there any other special forces we have of Indian Air Force or of Indian Navy? 
मैम ऑफ इंडियन नेवी इट इज मार्कोस कमांडोज एंड ऑफ एयरफोर्स इट इज गरुड़ कमांडोज ओके ऑल्सो यू मैंशन दैट यूर फादर वॉज इन गढ़वाल राइफल्स मैम माई ग्रैंड ग्रैंड फादर सॉरी येस योर ग्रैंड फादर वॉज इन गढ़वाल राइफल्स so uh, he was in gadwal rifles what is this gadwal rifle is it um, a mechanized infantry an infantry or armored which regiment it is ma'am i don't have much knowledge about it okay are you aware of the war cry of gadwal rifles oh uh, no ma'am motto of gadwal rifles ma'am i think it's vivek vivek only vivek nothing else ma'am something more it is but i am not able to recall it right now okay okay Oh, also you mentioned uh, one point that uh, we share our border uttarakhand shares its, bo- its border with china as well and china is our enemy country why is it so why china is our enemy country ma'am basically as per my information uh, i have came to know that earlier china was our friend only but uh, due to some land disputes uh, now china is no more our friend Okay, due to some territorial disputes. What kind of disputes we have? What are those disputed areas? Like, ma'am, China is also fighting for the uh, some of the Ladakh area. Like, it wants some of the land of uh, India and like in the Arunachal also. Okay, so are you aware of uh, Gal- Galwan Valley incident? Sorry, ma'am. Galwan Valley incident. No, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Also, uh, since you are from Dehradun only, you are from Uttarakhand, right? Uh, Can is was Uttarakhand always a separate state? No, ma'am. Then, ma'am, earlier it was part of uh, Uttar Pradesh only. But in nine on nine November two thousand, Uttarakhand was declared as a separate state. On nine November two thousand, a separate state. And what was its first name, ma'am? Uh, till two thousand seven, it was Uttaranchal. Okay, and then later on it got Uttarakhand. Uttarakhand. Okay, so. Um, Do we have any? Uh, we would say some significant holy places in Uttarakhand. Ma'am, we have the four shrines, which are Badrinath, Kedarnath, Yamunotri, and Gangotri. Okay, what is the significance of Gangotri? Ma'am, uh, Goddess Ganga is worshipped in Gangotri. Okay, apart from that, any geographical significance? Ma'am, like uh, is there uh, is that or is there any river that originates from that place? Ma'am, it is situated near Ganga. I think so. Ganga, are you sure? Ma'am, I'm not sure, but I think. Okay, okay. And uh, what is the significance of Yamunotri? Ma'am, Goddess Yamuna is uh, worshipped there. Goddess Yamuna is. Is there any uh, that that place is origin of any river? Ma'am, I'm not aware of the origin of rivers. Okay. Also, uh, since we are in Dehradun only, do we have any rivers in Dehradun? Ma'am, the Tons River. Tons River. Okay, it is tributary of any mainstream river. Ma'am, I'm not able to recall it. Okay. Also, you mentioned that your hobby is uh, dancing. Yes, ma'am. Right, and you said that you dance on specifically some Pahari songs. Apart from dance, uh, can you just mention some specific dance form of Uttarakhand? Ma'am, uh, ma'am, uh. It's something like Langvir, Nik, Langvir, uh, Nritya. Like Gadwali is mainly perform that. Apart from that, any other forms we have? Ma'am Cholia, Cholia, and Ma'am, I'm only able to recall these right now. Okay, okay. So uh, I would just like to assess you on some situations. Right? Yes, ma'am. For suppose you heard an unusual sound at night, okay, yes, and you found a thief jumping out of Your window. What will you do, ma'am? Maybe he is not a thief, but if he would be, then I would just inform this to my mother and father, whosoever elder is present at my house. That okay. Time. Okay. You just inform your elders. Hmm. No one else, ma'am. Also the police. Also the police and, ma'am, like uh, maybe uh, he uh, he would be not uh, just uh, steal something. But it's necessary for me to im uh, to inform the my elders. Okay, so you will inform police. You will inform your family members, and uh, no one else is supposed to know about. Ma'am, at night I would not like to disturb others. Are you sure? What if he goes to someone else's house? Ma'am, as I have already told you that I will uh, inform the police. So first of all, the police will come, and that then it's over to police what decision they will take. 
but by the time police comes what if he uh, commits any crime then i'll inform the my family members and then they will inform the other members of the society okay okay so support apart uh, apart from that you heard your neighbor now screaming thief thief at night what will be your reaction then ma'am uh, i'll just for check it what's happened there and inform my elders too okay so you'll just check if it's uh, really a, that situation or not and then you'll take appropriate action okay okay also suppose if a fellow passenger in the train objected to his uh, smoking okay and uh, that was a public offense okay you uh, you asked him not to smoke uh, not to smoke and he objected to that so what will be your reaction then ma'am first of all i'll try to convince him that not to smoke as it is harmful for us and him too and then i'll ask anybody uh, who is older than me to stop him because it's not my right to uh, just uh, say anything to my elder wrong okay but that is a public place and he was he is not supposed to smoke there ma'am i'll tell the uh, higher authorities also okay okay uh, okay uh, kirtika have you been to any place away from dehradun away from uttarakhand ma'am uh, i've been to jaipur jaipur how did you go there ma'am by tra- uh, first i went to delhi and from delhi i went to jaipur from delhi you went to jaipur via bus or train train okay so suppose you were traveling by uh, train okay you went to washroom and on your return you found that your briefcase is missing so what will be your reaction then ma'am i would search uh, search for it and ask uh, the near play, near mem- uh, people that have you seen that or not okay so you'll just confirm what if you do not found it ma'am if i will do not found it then i'll just check the cctv cameras cctv cameras in train are you sure ma'am in uh, like if it would have got stolen also then it w- uh, would be present in the in the train only so i'm sh- i am sure i'll get it you sh- you are sure that you will get it you're not supposed to inform to rpf or any other authority ma'am or the tc or the tt ma'am it is not necessary that uh, that person would have uh, uh, send that uh, briefcase to the out of that train box are you sure yes ma'am uh, what if the train was uh, at an halt ma'am then uh, if i would not get it then i would inform the higher authorities okay okay so you been to tapkeshwar ma'am when i was young yes when when you were young but uh, you must be aware of the river that flows there ma'am i don't know much about that okay okay can you tell me some uh, recent important happenings of india ma'am like recently uh, elections had been held and the which elections lok sabha elections where ma'am in india only okay ma'am plus the uh, Uh, the chief of air force is also been changed what is his name ma'am marshal amarpreet singh what marshal amar air chief marshal amarpreet singh okay air chief marshal amarpreet singh okay anything else ma'am can i take some time yes ma'am uh it's a international but uh, the the prime minister of uh, bangladesh has came to india okay okay uh, okay kirtika tell me that uh, uttarakhand i consider that it is a very beautiful place right but somewhere or the other way it is not getting that importance at a national level that it deserves so what can we do what can we do to get that name and fame to uttarakhand ma'am like uh, at some places uh, uttarakhand is really a very beautiful state but at some places we can find that uh, the tourists are visiting here and they throwing all those uh, whatever they have done picnic material uh, they have thrown that at those places so uh, ma'am to get that fame we should just spread awareness about the beautiful places in uttarakhand okay only the awareness is sufficient ma'am also uh, we should uh, spread the culture how can we spread the culture ma'am like uh, from going place to place and just uh, performing any dance form of uttarakhand dance forms only dance forms 
Man. Okay, can you tell me some uh, food items of Uttarakhand specific that are local? Alu ke gutke. Okay. Chaisu. Okay. Uh, Kumauni raita. Kumauni raita. Uh, Jhangore ka bhat. Okay. And mithi bhat. Jhangore ka bhat. Is it good for health? Ma'am, I don't know if it is good for health or not, but I like it. You like it. You do not know its significance for our health? No, ma'am. Okay. Apart from that, uh, you mentioned that, yes, um, do you wish to join uh, Para-SF? Yes, ma'am. You wish to join Para-SF? Are women allowed in Para-SF? No, ma'am. Are you sure? Yes, ma'am. Are you sure on that? Yes, ma'am. Okay, but recently uh, we have opened opportunities for women in National Defense Academy as well. Yes, and there, uh, we have op- opened opportunities for women in multiple combat arms as well. So why not para SF? Ma'am, maybe the operation done by the para SF are very dangerous. Are you sure? <coughs> okay, okay. So uh, since you mentioned that your aim is to join Indian Army, what is going to be the very first rank that you will be joining joining in? Ma'am, Lieutenant. Lieutenant. And the second rank is? Ma'am, Captain. Okay. And the third one? Major. Major. And uh, uh, what is, tell me the sequence of all the ranks up to General. Ma'am, Lieutenant, Captain, Major, Lieutenant Colonel, Colonel, uh, Brigadier, Major General, General, uh, Lieutenant General, General, uh, and there is an honorary rank also that is Field March. Okay, so what is the equivalent rank in Indian Air Force to Lieutenant Colonel in Indian Army? Ma'am, I don't know the ranks of Indian Air Force. Okay, uh, your father and your grandfather, they both who are in Indian Army, they both were in non-commissioned ranks? Yes, ma'am. Can you tell me in non-commissioned ranks in increasing order? All the non-commissioned ranks. Ma'am, the first one is the... Uh, Havaldar. Are you sure Havaldar is the very first rank? Ma'am, I'm not sure. Okay. I Continue. don't have much knowledge about it. I just know two to three ranks. Okay. What are those two, three Ma'am, ranks? Havaldar, okay. Subedar. And I don't, I just know these two ranks. Okay. Only two ranks. Okay. Uh, fine. I, now I would like to hand over the mic to Deepak. Uh, I got confused in two abbreviations. Can you please? Tell me what are these abbreviations? One is CDS and another one is COAS. So, do you know the full form of these two abbreviations? Sir, I'm only aware of the full form of uh, CDS. Okay, please tell me. Sir, it is Chief of Defense Staff. Chief of Defense Staff. The Army Chief of India is known as by which post? Sir, uh, uh, General Upendra Deviji. He is the hmm. current. Okay, he is the current. Lieutenant General, Army Staff. So it is COAS. The abbreviation COAS used for Army Chief. Yes, sir. Why we have a CDS? What is the need of a CDS? We have tri services. All tri services has their own chiefs. The CDS post is created for what purpose? Sir, actually, I don't have any uh, much knowledge about it, but I will definitely search it for it after the interview. I'm mm-hmm. curious to know about it. Uh, do you know who is the first CDS of yes, India? Yes, sir. Yeah. General Vipin Rawat. Before becoming the CDS, he served as uh, which post? Sir, I think he was a lieutenant general. Mm-hmm. Do we have General Vipin Rawat as chief of army staff sometimes? earlier before becoming the CDS? Sir, I am not sure. Okay. There is a joint naval exercise called Varuna. It is a joint naval exercise between how many countries? Do you have any idea? No, sir. Is there any involvement of Indian naval force in that joint exercise? I think so. What is the purpose of having a joint exercise nowadays? So, like uh, the relations with countries Hmm. can be improved, Hmm. plus the forces, uh, the forces can also be improved, like what all requirements are to be (coughs) made. Do we have any joint military or naval or any kind of air force exercise with uh, People's Republic of China? I have not given a thought to it. 
Okay. Do you think that it is important for having a good relation with China? We do have some joint military exercises. Sir, or we should refrain from such exercises with China. Sir, like if uh, we can have good relations with China, only what is needed is to be talk to them uh, with calm mind. Mm -hmm. Is it beneficial for us to have a joint military exercise with countries like China? Yes, sir, because China is considered to be uh, one of the powerful countries in the world. There is one more powerful country uh, where today itself some elections are going on for the presidential post. So USA. What is the tenure of a president in United States of America? Sir, I am not aware of that. Take a guess. Sir, maybe it's around uh, 10 years. 10 years for one person to have a president in, in a democratic country. Okay, what is the tenure of Prime Minister in India? Sir, it's five years. So, by that logic, is it good for US to have a 10 year for one person to become a president? No, sir, because it is possible that the other person would be more capable mm -hmm. for uh, becoming the if you have president. To be you have to decide the tenure of president for USA. What is the basic or minimum years you assign to a person? For becoming a president. It would be equivalent to India's. Equivalent to India's, that is five years. So four years are is the tenure for a president in USA, okay? A president can have four years. Okay, so office. thank you for providing me with this knowledge. Hmm. Um, how the US president is different from Indian president? Do you have any knowledge about it? No, sir. Okay. Who is more stronger? in terms of powers, authority, US president or Indian president in their own country? Sir, uh, the US president have more power. And in India, between president and prime minister, whom you will consider more practically powerful? Sir, uh, prime minister. Okay. Have you seen the night sky? Yes, sir. Please elaborate what you see in the night sky. Sir, I see many stars, mm -hmm. plus uh, the view is very beautiful mm -hmm. and uh, we also mm -hmm. see the moon. So recently we have a celebration of Diwali in which people very fond of, you know, bursting firecrackers. Yes, sir. At the Diwali night, can you elaborate what is night sky looks like? Sir, it is very blur basically due to the pollution, mm -hmm. uh, but somewhere we are also the culprits for it. Okay. What are your opinion about it? Do we have such kind of celebrations or we should refrain from such kinds of celebration? In Sir, it is not possible to re uh, just not celebrate our own festivals, mm -hmm. but what we can do to prevent it is uh, like if we have bust crackers on the day of Diwali, till the next few days, we can stop using uh, vehicles. And how can we commute without using vehicles? So like we can use electric vehicles. Mm, for public transport, we can use electric vehicles, but for yes. the personal use, can we refrain from using any vehicle? Okay. So, what is the phenomena behind this twinkling of star? Sir, it's a refraction. Night? Refraction. And uh, sometimes we see rainbows in the sky. What is that phenomena? Sir, it's dispersion of light. Dispersion of light. Dispersion of light means uh, white light is divided into seven different color patterns. Yes, sir. What are those seven colors? Sir, web cure. Sir, web -cure. violet. Okay. Indigo, mm -hmm. blue, mm -hmm. green, mm -hmm. yellow, orange and red. In these seven colors, which color has the maximum wavelength? Sir, I think it's red. You think is re it's red or are you sure that it's red? Sir, I think so. Okay. Uh, recently, we have seen a news about uh, dismantling the International Space Station. Was it? Uh, it has come to its age. How many countries are involved in 
making that international space station or do you have any idea about it no sir take a guess sir maybe 3 to 4 countries okay can you name any 3 to 4 countries which can be responsible for making such an international space station usa okay russia mm -hmm. somewhere india also india is also and china maybe okay uh in science we have seen that cell is the basic unit of life yes sir how can we say cell is a basic unit of life sir as a home is built by bricks mm -hmm. and the basic unit of a house is bricks mm -hmm. there uh, in the same manner our body is made up of cells and therefore uh, the single uh, particle of which our body is made is cell and therefore the our body's basic unit is cell mm -hmm. so uh, what is the basic uni unit of matter sir atom atom so uh, atom and cell are they related uh, to some extent with each other or they are totally different phenomena sir basically atom is uh, basically uh, related to chemistry whereas cell is related to biology if we say cell is also made up of some atoms then is it a true statement or false statement sir i don't think so you don't think so can you tell me the definition of matter what is a matter sir anything that has mass mm -hmm. and covers any area mm -hmm. uh, that is, that is matter. considered as matter and every matter is made out of atoms so cell do cell have some mass or does cell cover any area yes sir so is it considered as a matter yes sir so can it be made out of atoms yes sir atom consists of mm, how many fraction how many parts we can see in the sir, atoms sir the neutral neutral mm. uh and the neutral charge mm a uh, positive and uh, that negative yeah. charges are there any name assigned to such particles which show these charges sir actually i'm not able to recall the names okay okay tell me some names of peninsula rivers do you know what is peninsula yes sir please tell me what uh, is sir, peninsula sir peninsula is a land which is surrounded by water on its three sides so india sometimes called as a peninsula it's surrounded by three side it's surrounded by water bodies from three sides yes sir what are these three water bodies sir bay of bengal mm -hmm. sir arabian sea mm -hmm. and indian ocean okay so in peninsular india what are the major rivers that flow sir uh, krishna mm -hmm. godavari mm -hmm. narmada mm -hmm. tapi and uh, okay these rivers are called seasonal rivers why so sir because they only uh, flow in the monsoon season because in summer it and winter it is dry is dry i think so and how these rivers are different from the north indian rivers like ganga yamuna sindhu sir uh, these they are evergreen rivers they flow throughout the year yes sir mm -hmm. so what will be the reason according to you behind these things sir uh, because the himalayas uh, keep on melting and mm -hmm. as these rivers are part uh, have mm -hmm. originated from himalayas mm -hmm. so i think that that is the reason mm -hmm. they are evergreen so basically there are some glaciers which supply water to these river and the peninsula river do not have such glaciers so they depend so. on rain water according to you yes sir okay mm. one last question uh, have you heard these terms heterotrophs and autotrophs yes sir please elaborate sir basically heterotrophs are the organism which are uh, dependent on other organisms for their food mm. and autotrophs are the organisms which uh, can prepare the food for themselves just like plants yes sir what is the basic thing plants have that uh, 
is responsible for making food sir actually plants have the ability to process uh, the perform the process of photosynthesis hmm. and that uh, is why they are able to prepare their own food whereas heterotrophs don't have the ability to perform this process thank you kirtika okay kirtika so uh, one last question uh, as you want to join army so can you tell me what is the role of army in peace time sir basically uh, there is no peace time for army or any other armed forces they are always prepared for the worst situation because they don't know what is the next step of the enemies okay so you feel that there is no peace time okay thank you so much for giving this wonderful interview welcome sir okay all the best from our side from the team of doa thank you sir hope to see you soon in rmc thank you sir okay